So it's really just supporting the consumer, because you and I both want content on our mobile phone, but we want it at a correct price or even for free. I mean, there's, the, the, there's a fascination uh, concerning the very large telecom companies today. Um, their valuation would seem to be um, a valuation you would associate with some kind of low. You know, they've, they've lost 89. You know, they peaked 10 years ago with the TMT bubble. Uh, today, businesses such as France Telecom or, or Deutsche Telekom yield 8%, and in America, AT&T would yield 6%. But the, the great flaw and the great bore is that the telecom operators are putting in, they're spending all of this money so that you can have these smartphones like I, uh, the iPhone, whatever, and you can watch these devices. Um, and it, it is very, very intensive use of their network, mm. but they get no rev. They actually get very little revenue sharing right. in it. And you, you wonder why spend the money? You know why spend the money? It's you know they should always be charging, you know Apple whatever to actually have the device to put into their network. It's kind of the wrong way around. So there's a I'm not sure where we are with telecoms because presently they are very cash generative. The big dividends there. Um, but these capex commitments with very little return on it, mm. so that we can furnish this this vision in your services. Mm. I, I'd like to see them make more money from your service, of course. So, so would we, quite so frankly. Would. You know, uh, it's the, the traditional ways of uh, operators providing services to consumers based on subscriptions is a dying model. Uh, you know, the consumers in today's market, and this is where third space.